Hello, Captain Barbara Six here, and I am back from an episode of Crimson Crafts Survival with friends, and today I am with Steve. Now, I've got a few things to do, starting with the fact that it is almost time for Crimson Craft World War II! So, we have chosen spots to build our bases, and they are not, um, hold on. Okay, they are not, um, complete, of course, but, um, this is the blue base. Um, the people that are going to be on the blue base are Cube Magic, then Paris, Water Craze, Bowser, um, Dinny, and... Who else? No, no craft. On my team is going to be Rover, me, Blackhawk, Steve, um, and Justin. So here's our base. And building the command center, Rover made his own little thing. So right now, I am on my way to Steven's flower shop. Now Steven has always liked flowers, but now I've taken it to the point where he's going to, he has made his own shop completely off of flowers. So, he's been working for hours getting materials and stuff, getting this already, planning it out on his single player worlds, which he always does with things. So I'm excited see what he's got. I haven't seen any of it, so this is my first time seeing it. And, okay, I'm gonna do this so that I'm surprised. Okay. And... Oh, I can start to see something. Huh! Whoa! What is this? Flower Emporium. Not open yet. Oh, apparently it's open to me. Get your items in second floor. Pay by throwing money in carpets. Whoa. Two tall flowers. Eight dollars for each or twenty-five for four. One tall flower. Four for each or twenty for six. Grasses and vines. A dollar each. Up here, I guess maybe he's gonna have a garden up there. This is cool. So he probably has hoppers down there. Nice. Okay. Let's see. This is cool. Cool. I like this. He's got the nice flower pot and all that. And then, Justin decided to not do butcher shop, so now, hey, oh wait, no, maybe he got his own. This is Synthical Insurance. So I guess he's making insurance. And then, around back is where I collect my money. Maybe it's not safe for him to collect money around here. Probably shouldn't have eaten right before dinner. Okay, so we're gonna go off to Little Phoenix. And maybe have some dinner. So yeah, American Firebird's been doing really well. We've made a couple sales already, like maybe five or five in the past three days. We have the event meadow now, like the one before. It's not quite as big, but it has a large table. And it's gonna have, like, depending on what holiday it is, it's gonna depend on what it is. And it has the pumpkins, and it has, like, you know, those beach restaurants where it has a little thing leading up to the back area of it. So, yeah. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go back to and get me in him some rainbows. Where you want to sit? I'm guessing I'll sit up there. How's he want? 
Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go outside. Okay. Okay. We'll sit. We'll sit here. Okay. Let's see. What should I get? So, uh, there's beef sirloin, apple swan, watermelon parfait. Ooh. Freshly baked bread. Red velvet cake. Chicken truffles, rabbit a la carte, golden apple swan, seared pork, goat's milk, and cold water. I know what I want. I think I'm going to get a red velvet cake and a melon parfait. Perfect. Let's see, what's he going to get? Maybe I'll put sprint jumping instead to really kill your hunger. So maybe I'll just run around like this. Especially in hunger games, it kills my hunger. Who's that? What will he. Oh! I'll have chicken truffles and glass of cold water. I don't think chick chicken truffles are available yet. Maybe maybe I'll never mind. I'll get some. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just get some, some chicken truffles for, for Steven. Oh, okay. Never mind, no need to cheat. Maybe some, okay. Menu. Okay. Wait, why did I eat food? No! I was just running out to lose hunger. And they're like, it's just a habit of mine. Okay. Okay, so first I'll make the melon parfait. And he's got the water, two waters, and the beef sirloin. Oh, we've already got some beef. Well, only the freshest for Steve. Um, Steven gets only the freshest beef sirloin. N none of that pre cooked stuff. That, that's what we serve to, to like Nazadi. Okay. So, we have two ice water. A bit of crafting table over here. Melon parfait. Uh, beef sirloin. Now for my order, a red velvet cake and melon parfait. <laughs> I need to run. Yeah, because I can't even eat any of this. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll have like daily specials, like something you can't get on the menu usually. Like we'll probably add um. Ah! Add oh, did he do it to get more water? Like uh, mushroom stew and stuff. Come on, not the hunger's down. It's going down faster. Yeah. And for, um, yeah, hunger gods, I'm in hunger games, and I, and I need the hunger bars, and you're taking them away from me, causes me great pain, aha, please take, don't, do not take them, I am so sad now, please do not take them, I totally do not want to lose my hunger bars in order to have a delicious meal with this man who just stopped me from running, oh no, I'm losing hunger, oh, I can't sprint anymore, what a shame, Trying to eat my red velvet cake. No, 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 no. 
Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Crimson Craft Survival with Friends, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you later. Bye!